Hello and welcome to my let's play slash livestream of Final Fantasy 12. Yeah, I don't really have a history with this game. Except for I actually, um, yeah, I bought it instantly when it came out, 2007, and yeah, I never finished it. I think I played it 10 hours tops, never left the, uh, never left the desert, and I was bored by the game, and I don't know why, and I can't remember why, because it was 10 years ago, but I loved Final Fantasy back then, a lot, actually really, really a lot, and yeah, I have here the original copy, and I also bought instantly together together with it yeah it's it's a strategy guide and it's not any strategy guide it was a limited edition strategy guide here in Germany it was that thick it was that thick of a guide fully pictured with everything you could imagine every detail here and I never finished the game not because I was too dumb because I was bored of the game and sorry that I'm speaking over the cutscene, but yeah, in any case. I mean, I can play it again if anyone wants me to play it, but I think everyone have already played it, so I think it's decent that I can talk over it. In any case, um, this time around, this is Final Fantasy XII, but it's the Final Fantasy International Zodiac System uh, version. So, it's basically the Final Fantasy XII that will soon come out on the PS4 and maybe sometime later on the PC, but that, that thing is the new HD remaster with Zodiac system and the international version, even though it was called the international Zodiac system version, it was only available in Japan. So yeah, this is basically an English patched version of the game, I think. Because, fuck that, I mean, why would I have HD when I can have 2 or 4K on my PC, you feeling me? In any case, as I, as I showed you, I have the game, I have the strategy guide, everything's legit here, and as you can see, Final Fantasy XII International Zodiac Job System. And, yes, hello Andre. And why finally, by the way? Oh! Okay, finally say hello. Okay, well, that's... Yeah, w why not? I mean... <laughs> so you're not in the hotel room with the bad Wi-Fi anymore. Uh, that would be a relief. Too much time. I mean, if you want to say hello, I mean, there is my Discord channel. And there's also my, um, yeah, there's also my YouTube channel, so you can say hello whenever you want. But I think a uh, live stream is just better for that. Yeah, there weren't many streams lately, anyhow. What? Oh shit, my controller went out. Come on. There we Can I? I thought I could skip it. Okay. Let's just straight head into the game, straight into it. Let's get straight into the game then. And yeah. So I have to change a few settings. Um, the f I don't need the flicker filter in the emulator. Uh, screen position should be fine. Screen shake on, controller vibration, hopefully it works. And this is one of the rare PlayStation 2 games that actually have native 69 widescreen. Um, wait, how is it called? It supports 69 widescreens. Oh 
Oh yeah, and uh, watching anime is a great thing. I should really watch a few more. God damn it, is the music loud? But at least on my ear. Oh man, I really should watch a few more animes. Why am I doing not that? Why am I streaming? I could just watch animes, I mean. Huh, whatever. I, I think I just want to do something. Okay, and now... Now it's getting cinematic. This is normal, by the way. In the name of the Father, and in the presence of these holy relics, I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Follow on. If, following this, Arcadia should launch an attack by both land and air, our kingdom will stand little... Nabudis has fallen. Impossible! My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabudis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. <sighs> Secure Nalvano with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side. Galtea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy.
lost. We must withdraw. No, the paling still stands. Keep your sight, near failing light. Blessings of the Great Father descend, and guide your bodies return to the Earth. Great Father, guide your spirits return to the Mother of All. There you shall find peace. Pharaoh. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the Kingdom of Dalmaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalis. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nabradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rasla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon meet out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. Oh man, yeah, war is a fucked up thing. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace. Or, as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca surrender. <laughs> well, that's basically Final Fantasy in a nutshell. I would say all good things soon be bad and all bad things soon be good. First everything goes to shit and then the heroes bring it all up and decide it for the good. Well, that's at least what I remember. I mean, Final Fantasy VII was a little bit sad. Well, it was sad. It was the... No, it was the saddest. Well, I think mostly because I played that as the first Final Fantasy. And I think I never understood the ending quite right. Lord Ramanas, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, 
had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbina Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The king had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. That's heavy language. It's really hard to understand. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. A treaty is when you seize your attacks and weapons for a limited time. Isn't it? You there. Can you hear me? <laughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He <laughs> fights to defend his homeland. <laughs> Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, can you stand? <clears throat> Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found the over there! Bossler, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. <laughs> Steady, Rex. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move! New update for Twitch on phone? No, I don't really see that upgrade. But yeah, Andre, have a nice day. Thanks for tuning in at least. <laughs> Okay, so they have a weird choice of armor here. I mean, all the vulnerable, pa the vulnerable parts that should be covered are uncovered. I don't know, is, is this man service or something? I don't know. I mean, they have so weird parts. Did you saw the guy way, way back in the cutscene where they discussed on this big war map? He almost had... His armor was only covering his nipples, and the rest was all bare. And I think, who designs those armors? Those are horrible design choices for armor. If it even was supposed to be body armor. And this, um, and this archer who shot Rassler in the chest must have a really, really good aim, because there was one slit one bare naked slit he could fit the arrow in and he nailed to actually hit it. I think... Oh god. And hi, Mosh. Okay, Bash, you must always be mindful of your surroundings. Use the white analog stick to look around. <laughs> it's a useful way to spot Imperials. Go on, give it a try. There's a lock? Oh, okay. 
didn't. Well then, let's look around. Look at those glorious 4K resolutions. Use the left analog stick to move, Rex. Tilt it slightly to walk and further to run. You can walk, yes? Come, stand before me. With your midwift showing armor. Glorious midwift six pack showing armor. Oh yeah, and by the way, the the international zodiac system has something has an inbuilt fast forward. Let me demonstrate. This is not the emulator. This is a legit in-game mechanic. You can speed up the game by 200 times or something by itself, and that's kind of interesting. Do you use the marker above my head? Do you see the marker, I mean? That's a talk I can... You can talk to any character showing one of these. To talk to someone, approach them and press triangle, or in my case, the B button. <laughs> Try talking to your friend by the gate. Why do you think he's my friend? Is it because he also is showing his midriff and nipples? Who the hell designed those armors? Why would you show your vulnerable parts and only cover the other things up? Oh man. Life is worth too much to throw away, Rex. Do what you can, but don't try to be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother once we are, in we are back in Web Webernastra. Just listen to the captain and we'll get through this. We'll enter the fortress through this gate. We must go. Alright then. See the marker above your head? That's called an action icon. One of these will appear when you approach a door, a switch, an item or the like. To learn more about what you found, walk closer and the icon will change. Then press triangle. Now try opening the gate. It's this time. Well done, dude. You pressed one. <laughs> it's a time. We'll drive back. Any Imperial standing between us and the King. Dalmasca's future hangs in the balance. Stay focused on the foes before you, Wax. I will watch... I will watch Weirward. Oh, he watches the backside. You can open the party menu by pressing triangle. On the party menu you can examine your equipment and inventory. Let's try it right now. Oh wait, really? God damn it, it was <laughs> Oh god! Yeah, I'm still learning, but I I speak this for Almost four years now. <laughs> oh god, it's the circle. You're right. It's the circle. Why am I saying it's right? <laughs> that's that right. Oh god, no. Oh, that's embarrassing. There's square, there's X, circle, and triangle. Why? Why did I. Why did I mix that up? Oh god. Oh god, that's embarrassing. That's actually straight down embarrassing. <laughs> Press the circle button. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> that red line is a hostile target line. Take heed, you are being targeted. When a foe targets you, the line is red. When you target a foe, the line is blue. If you see a red line, look for foes at once. If they are not readily apparent, use the white analog. Stick to look around. You found them press circle, not triangle, circle. Triangle is the green one, circle is the red one. <laughs> to open the battle menu. Once you've selected attack and targeted the foe, close distance using the left analog stick. It will automatically target until your foe is defeated. 
You can change targets or actions at any time if your HP falls. Press circle and select items from the battle menu, then use a potion. After using an item, you will automatically resume your previous action. There's no need to input your commands again. You can do it, Wax. Show me. Okay. Attack. Imperial Salt. Oh, I blocked. Oh. Sure. Show off. But yeah, thank thanks for clarifying that this is actually the circle button and not the triangle. Captain? I... Wait, that's weird. I have to use this? Yeah, let's use thunder. Do I have to use it again? God damn it. I think it's effective. Oh, fuck it. I just attack normally. Wait, what? Yeah, just attack normally. Ow! Shit, I'm almost dead already. Oh, they heal me. Okay. Riveting. Oh, yeah, you fucked him up good. Then. I'm really interested what the Zodiac if the Zodiac system makes this game better. I really hope it does. Because I don't know if it will it make better or not. I don't know if I got bored of the story or the battle system. I really can't remember what made me not finish the game ever before. There's no simple way through the fortress. The minimap at the top right of your screen may not be enough to gain your bearings. Should you lose your way, consult your location map by pressing select. This will bring up the map of the fortress we gave you before we set out. Great. Where are you? What if Captain Azalus has fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vosla's laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. Men like him don't die in places like this. We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex. Wait, wait, wait. Did, did, did you two see that? D d d we we whined to when I made this weird face. He twist bash twisted his body like it 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 was twisted to a really unnatural stance. Did you see that? I mean, I think you can't rewind right now, but later maybe um 
Okay. Wait, where do we have to go? Oh. Um. Okay. Well. Going at the speed of light. <laughs> no, I don't do this shit right now. It's too early to already use the fast forward mechanic. Ahead, we will face many Imperials, but we need not fight them all. Oft times we tweet is the wiser course. Should the need arise, press and hold R2 to 1. Oh, wait, that was here. Okay. There's no shame in fleeing from a battle that serves no purpose. Yeah, but most elitists are, you know. Oh, that. Take a potion. Well, I mean, you can just fuck them up. There's no need to retreat. Ow! Oh no, there are more. Fuck that. Yeah, whatever. Let's just... Let's then just look around, I guess. Oh, they are handling that good. Nope, there's nothing here. Why am I even bothering looking around? It's only the beginning of the game. There can't be anything hidden. And I don't even want it to do that. I told myself I don't try to get everything. Wait, what's this? There we go. Oh yeah, the safe crystal, of course. This is a safe crystal, Wax. You can save your progress by approaching a safe crystal and pressing the circle button. Touching one of these crystals will also fully restore your HP and MP. Though you will gradually recover MP as you move about, it can take time. Do not miss this opportunity to refresh yourself and your allies. There's more I would tell you, but we've no time. Heed the lessons of the battlefield and you will do well. Come, we must reach his majesty before it's too late. Great. I will go here. Just because I'm curious. As you should be when you play a game like this. And yes. First safe state ever. Intruders! Don't let them escape! Sir, we have little time. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. Sure. Fight well. You're gonna die. Oh no, you don't. Wait, my controller is... Oh! Oh, um... My... My... My batteries are out of juice! Whoops! God damn it! I thought it... I thought I just charged it! God damn it! Wait, where is my... Oh, man... Yo! God, who that?
Well, in, yeah. Okay. Really hope it works now. Oh no. Fuck. Okay, I have to. There we go. Oh, yeah, if the controller wants out of juice in the middle of the recording. Always great. Always great. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, there was something about chains and they give more XP if you chain and kill the same enemies over and over again. That's one thing I remember. I think that's what the strategy guide told me. Yeah, sure. I also gently knock at the door and it opens wide. Intended all along to sell Damascus to the Empire. His Majesty was a traitor. Captain, I. Seize the insurgent. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, Captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the captain away. <laughs> Off you go. Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Rabanasta. Dalmasca's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmasca. Oh, man. Sons and daughters of Dalmasca. I bid you lay down your arms. Raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminas, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer too for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanos, has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword 
are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca's surrender without terms was soon to follow. Looks really pretty on an emulator. It looked good on the PS2, but it looks even better on on the emulator and the resolution just cranked up. Vaughn! Hurry it up or they'll find us! I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. Alright. Time to clean house. And here he is, the least favorite main protagonist ever in a Final Fantasy game, I would say. I would really say he's the least favorite protagonist. I never had read so much hate for a main character who shouldn't be the main character. Apparently, from what I heard, is that Square Enix thought that the actual main character, Balthia, which we will meet later on in the game, is was meant to be the main character, but they thought people could not relate to him easily enough for reasons. Wow, Vaughn, you got him all yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, then not being relatable enough. But I think there's more cutscenes, so I'll wait for that to end. I had a really awkward timing to even start. What'd you say? Yes, uh, sir, you haven't paid, and I... What? Haven't paid? Oh, 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 second thought. Please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod, B. We don't want trouble today. Mm. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. Which way you're going, churl? What? My pouch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! That's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. 
It's our duty as Dalmaskins. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Hmm. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. Hmm. Oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. And yes, Penelo, the second least favorite Final Fantasy character. It's only what I heard, that's not what I thought back then. But but thinking about it back, maybe they were the reasons I got annoyed a little bit. I don't know. Okay, but yeah, your location map often bears a mark showing your destination. Consult the map when you are unsure where to go next. World map has been added to party menu. Alright then. Um. Wait. Party menu is here. So. Well. Since I don't try diddling around and make as much and fast progress as I can, I just go straight to where I'm supposed to be. It's weird, it shows that I have to go here, but there is no big... Oh. Ah, Vaughn, I was waiting. Penelo said you needed something? Ah, uh, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble out in the desert. Now I have no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The dozen teams with trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So, you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Uh -uh. I can't leave my shop and knife Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. <clears throat> what do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. <laughs> okay, there's one thing I want to do right now. So, stay tight. Nope, there's actually no difference whatsoever, so I just leave it at that. There's just a little thing I won't mention that bothered me a little bit, but I think it's only something that would bother me and nobody else. So, it's really interesting. These are the original pixelations if I'm not in the engine itself. And every time I leave that, it it reverts back to glorious high resolutions. I mean, look at that. That's how good can play that. That's how good PlayStation games can look like um, when they are upscaled, only upscaled in their resolution. And that's that's a pretty heavy thing to me. Wait, what was the right button for this? There was something. Yeah. Those are the original resolutions, just as a comparison. This is the original PlayStation resolution. This is how it looks in the original PlayStation resolution. And this is how it looks if you up the resolution. It's really, really great, actually. In any case, 
Um, I have to go... Yeah, I'll wait then. I think? No traffic. Oh, got that late. Oh, yeah, wrong destination. I thought I was already there. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Ah, don't remind me. Got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand what's stopping our couriers. And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right! Vaughn, you should give it a shot! And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right. So here's how it works. People post Belsy on the notice board when they have a monster they need taken care of. Headhunters track people, right? Well, hunters track monsters. The monsters you're hunting is called your mark. Here's the bill I posted for the woke tomato. The mark I've petitioned to have hunted. You want to hear all the details? Yeah, that... I don't... Do I want to? Yeah, okay, sure. Let's start with accepting hunts. You can't just take a look at the board and go running off to hunt the mark. You'll miss out on the bounty. You gotta talk to the person who posted the bill. The petitioner first. Let him know you're going on the hunt. So take this woke tomato bowl, for example, I posted it. So I'm the petitioner. You have to come talk to me. Let's call that step done. Okay? Once your agreement in place, the petitioner will tell you how to find the mark. Then you hunt it, report back, and claim the bounty. Oh, and I'll give you something to help keep track of your hunts. A clan primer. Use it to refresh your memory about hunts you've accepted. Yay! Go ahead and take this while you're at it. Just a little something to commemorate your first hunt. Orashia armor. Okay. Hmm, looks like you can't even equip that yet. Know why? You don't have the license for it. Oh god, no, there were this weird system in place. Think of license as smile posts, marking your progress as your combat skills improve. Swords, bows, black magics, white magics, none of it does you a lick of good until you've the license to use it. Same goes for that armlet. You always have to obtain the license first. Oh god, no. I'd say you're ready to hunt that mark for me. Oh, you'll be needing this to leave the city. Just show it to the watch at the gate. You obtain wit of transit. The East Gates, the one you want to head out. Once you've taken care of that mark for me, let me know. Your work won't go unrewarded. Rogue Tomato, the hunt begins. Right then, try equipping Vaughn with the Overwatch chair armlet. Lose, use the license command in the part menu and obtain as this was one license. Okay, to change the character's equipment. Once you choose the license board, you cannot change it. Once you choose the license board, you cannot change it. 
Is that yes? Okay. In order to use weapons armor, you must first obtain the proper license. Learn the license that support your playstyle to create your own unique party. <laughs> Oh, this is the Zodiac board. Please choose a license board for. Please choose a license board for this character. There's a total of twelve different boards available, each with unique set of licenses that will affect your character, stats, and abilities. The board cannot be changed once it has been set. What do you mean it can't be changed once it has been set? That would be really bad. Oh, yeah, that system. Oh, boy, am I excited about this one. A mechanist, a wet mage, a knight. Very strong warrior, short shields and heavy armors. Can use soul eater to inflict damage on enemy. A monk, a time, a time ma mage. Why would it not be able to be changed? I try that out with my magic button. Yeah, I think now I have it. Okay, good. Because I can't believe you can't change that. Fuck, I really have to get used to this again. Waker? With one swing, can you... With one swing? I don't see that coming anytime. Samurai. You want to set this license board. Your choice cannot be changed in the future. Well, that's great. So he's forever a samurai now, or what? Wait, what? That's just dumb as hell! <laughs> That's dumb as hell! That's even worse than the, the... than the original system! Really? You want to set me in place forever in one wall? <laughs> oh, come on. You can't be serious with this. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh boy, I will get so frisky with that. Oh my, oh boy, oh my, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't like that one bit. Actually, now that I think about it, I really have to look something about that. Because that's totally different from the original version that that I played before. In that version, you couldn't even choose that. I think everyone had the same board and just started on different ends on it. Okay, this is plenty different than it was in the original version. So yeah. Um This king can, can Proof difficult. Okay, there's something I wanted to... Yeah, where do I have to go? Ugh! I have to go that far? And you know what? You know what? Fuck. 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 
going away in the speed of sound. Um, okay, um, well, is that where we needed to go? Yes. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god! No! I can't keep my bearings when I do that. Oh my god. You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed. Magello. I just hate to see the consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man. I not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the console waiting. Right, gates are closed after this. Well then. Here we go! Okay, I can speed up this. This is interesting. So it only speeds up actual when I have control and not the whole time. Okay, we are in the outside world and we are supposed to find our target somewhere. Actually, I really should think I should play it safe, you could say. So I have to find the tomato thingy. Ah, shit. Are you a wolf bee? There we go. And there's the tomato thingy. Oh yeah, you're vicious. Totally. And now it runs away. Annoying piece of shit. Oh shit. I am always scared of Tyrannosaurus Rexes for the sole reason that I had a trauma when I played Final Fantasy VIII. Also Final Fantasy I. Oh shit. I never finished. Can you attack now? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Vanquished. <laughs> Don't let it look more epic than it is. Galbana lilies? Never thought I'd see him growing out here. This will make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. Wow. I would have never realized flowers anywhere. I mean... Oh well, that's fun for you. Okay. 
Oh. Wait, is that the white? Yeah, it's the white I like to. Alright. Never would have guessed I would use it that early. They wouldn't let me through, nothing to do now, but wait until the ceremony's over. What? We're just there, finishing the inspection. What do I see but the gates closing before my very eyes? A wee bit dodgy, wouldn't you say? Oh, Vaughn, I guess I'm not the only one who got locked out of the city. I told Penelo about the mark you were going after, and I guess I got her worrying. So the two of us headed out here to thank you. As soon as I stepped out, the guards closed the gate and things got crazy. I haven't been able to find her since. Now what? <laughs> Open the gate! Seriously? All right, out the way. Wait a second. How can you let these chocobos through the gate and not us? What of it? This here's a pedigreed parader, boy. Cost tens of thousands of gil, this one did. A prettier price than a hundred of you provincials would fetch. <sighs> Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobo sticking a peasant. <laughs> What'd you say? Step aside. <sighs> Right then, move them in. Oh. <sighs> that does it. Ho ho ho, a fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes, uh, see the down stock, if I'm not mistaken. Change the soil, change the chocobo, am I right? Yes, yes, different soil means different brocade, too. Take a Damask in Moreau's wine, eh? It may lack the flavor and depth of some of your Arcadian wines, but it has a certain strength of character. <laughs> it's not bad, really, once you get used to it. Care for some, sirs? There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. You let these carts through them and close this gate is ordered. My mail's choked with this sand. Don't give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. Ah, the ceremony will be starting soon. I'd best be hurrying. Okay, well... <sighs> Vaughn, wait! What is it? Vaughn! Hi, Matt. We will have order. I give you your new consul, His Imperial Highness Lord Vane Solidor, Commandant of the Arcadian Empire's Western Arm... Your Excellency. He 
people of Rabanaster, is it with hatred you look upon your consul? With hatred you look upon the Empire? Spit on your empire! Go back to Arcadia! There was little point in asking. But know this. I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. Nor shall I ask your fealty. That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his people, strove to bring you peace. His was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now, he remains among you, protecting you. His ardor for the peace and will of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the peace His Majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end, yet still its shadow looms over all, stifling the infant peace, a pall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the Empire will grieve me not. I will stand fast. I will endure your hatred, suffer your slings and arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. Though King Ramanas and Lady Ash be gone, they stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you. That's how politics work! Uh, if you have charisma, you can convince a lot of people. Is Rabanasta to your liking, my lord? It is magnificent. Take this cathedral, for instance. Elegant, yet whimsical in its execution. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it himself. The patron of this evening's banquet, may it please your excellency. I am the gallo, your highness. Uh, it is truly a profound honor to uh, make the acquaintance of our uh, the future emperor, highness. <laughs> the people of Rabinasta join me in welcoming That's you. That's enough of highness. Though indeed I am our emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but an elected official, and nothing more. I... I meant no disrespect. Now that I think on it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul, for that matter. No? Henceforth, I am a citizen of Rabanasta. Why don't you call me vain? I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I have just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me. And we shall drink until you call me by name. <laughs> How can he stand about to him like that? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. Lord never did have you know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? I don't know. Well, I'd do something. Yep, sure you would. Vaughn. Vaughn, you haven't heard a single word I've said, have you? This place has changed so much. It's like it's not even Rabanaster anymore. Like the Empire is swallowing it whole. Hey, Penel, that fate tonight. You think they'll let us in? Are you crazy? It's in the palace, and we don't have an invitation, if you hadn't noticed. 
So, how are we getting in? As if I'd know. Why not ask Miguelo to get you in? Or go see old Dallin in Lowtown? Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you. I'm going to take back what's ours. Give back to Dalmasca. Come on. What do you think? If I find something, and it fetches a good price, how about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do the first thing you'd buy is an airship. All hail Vaughn, sky part of Damasca. It's got a nice ring to it. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> hmm. An airship. I don't know. Maybe. But not through Magello. Time to pay old Dallin a visit. Someone's knocking at my door. Wait a second. Alright, I'm back. And here we continue. Um, where did we left off? Oh, yeah. Okay, where's the big circle? I Old Dallin and Lotal must know way into the palace. So we go to the ladder then. <laughs> Wait, um, oh, did I miss it? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't just run through everything. I just want to appreciate the craftsmanship of the whole environment. Um, I mean, why not? <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Tip on how to skewer something bigger and in armor by the East Gate? What? You already heard about that? Wise I may not be, but well informed I am. They'll get what's coming to them someday, believe me. But that's not why I'm here. Do tell. I want to know how to sneak into the palace. They've got to have some great stuff in there. Thought I'd partake. <laughs> Not one do mince words, are you, boy? The Empire protects all that's hers, and that means the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. So, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah! Now that I think on it, there was a rumor, yes! A secret passageway into the palace walls, a door, and a magic stone that opens the way. That's it! This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So, where's this, uh, magic stone? Eh, uh, oh, 
I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. I've heard all I need. So this is a uh, Crescent Stone. Can I have it? And I can find that secret passage into the palace, right? Not much of a listener, are you? The Crescent Stone has lost its magics. Without the power of a sunstone, it will be of little use. Why? Right. So, where can I get one of these sunstones? You see Giza Plain. Speak with the nomads there. You will find your sunstone. Leave by South Gate and continue south. The village is not far. They are like to be beasts on the plains, so be careful, my boy. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, okay. What? Oh, okay. Oh, exit. Exit. No. Let's see, Giza Plains. Hangar right here, and I'm practically at Thaw's Gate. This'll be easy. I like how he just, boop, and it opens. Wait, this looks different. Oh, now it's even the teleport crystal. I don't need multiple saves yet. Yet, I mean. But still. I can't do any... I don't even know how many characters I will have. Makes excellent use of guns. Can use charm technique to make any opponent your ally for a short period of time. Very versatile warrior. Uses maces as weapons. Specialized in arcane magic but can use all other types. Very strong warrior can equip sword shields and heavy armors. Can use soul eater to inflict damage on enemies. The warrior who stands against hordes of enemies using bare hands can use poles as weapon. Can obtain Achilles technique. That sounds interesting. A magic user that can equip crossbows and commands time magic such as reflect and haste. That could come in handy. What are the first things you learn? Slow and mobilize. Heavy armor? You can learn heavy armor as a time magic. Huh, oh, interesting. Breaker that uses all of nature as his weapon. Uses all of nature as his weapons. Takes enemies down with one swing. Can use axes, hammers, and break technique. I don't even know what that means. Archer. This warrior is trained in use of long range weapons. Can use poach to turn enemy into item. Uses bows. The classic black mage. Power of elemental magic. Can cause warrior status ailments. Fight with stave and hand bombs. Press. Yeah, of course. Samurai. A swordsman that has dedicated his life to protect his king. Uses katanas. Can obtain sight unseeing techniques. Hunter, well-trained and skilled warrior, uses daggers and ninja swords. Really? Why would a hunter use ninja swords? And the white mage, so... Ulan? Spears and devastating weapon that pierces through the armor of foes, can use revive technique. Press the square to... Okay. Oh! Um, I accidentally pressed the button I didn't want to press. 
increase physical attack damage, spears, heavy armor. Okay, so what I will need probably is a white mage, a black mage, I probably get a knight too. Maybe a time mage. Time mages can be very... So that's already three mages. Uh, after that, a knight, a samurai, and a hunter? I don't even know how many I can have, so... I don't know when I have all the characters assembled. Hi, Vamp! Ah, but the decision... Ah, it's so hard when you get locked into something, but I think it's it was a good change, so every character has his... Oh, shit. Has its unique purpose in the end? Um, I think I avoid them for now. Bye bye. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Okay. No, this is... This is the PS2 version. But it looks as good as the PS4 version. Maybe not the cutscenes, but everything else. So this is, I play this currently on an emulator. Okay, wait, who do I need to talk to? Yes, yes it is, it is emulated. It's, it's glorious, I think 4K resolution, and it looks pretty good. <laughs> You've trouble. You have a troubled look, child. What's the matter? Oh, come from Wabanastra, seeking a sunstone, have you? As you might have guessed from the name, sunstones contain the power of the sun. You'll often find them used as a source of heat or light. Here we leave all things... Here we leave all things sunstone to Masiwa. You should be able to find her near the dark crystal. Do you use the large black stone behind my tent? Do you see, I mean, the large black stone behind my tent? That is a dark crystal. You'll not find them outside Giza Plain. The dark surface of the crystal drink in the light of the sun. That way? It's ages since I played it, so I don't know anything about this anymore. Oh, I have to talk to you. If you come to see the dark crystals, not everyone takes well to the heat of the Giza Plains. Ah, so it's a sunstone you seek. You've come to the right place. They can only be made here in Giza. They're quite valuable though, so we can't go handing them out to just anyone who happened to wander through our camp. You see, we make and sell sunstones to earn the money we need to survive. Still, perhaps we can come to some arrangement. Did you hear my offer? Well, I have to. The making of sunstones is a chore we give to the children of our camp. They roam the plains, traveling from dark crystal to dark crystal, drawing the light from the crystals into the shade stones. One of these children, Jin, has not yet returned. He left carrying our supply of shade stones. If you find Jin for me and tell him to come back to the camp, you may take one of the sunstones he's made in return. Some of the children said they might have seen him to the south of the camp. You may want to speak with them yourself before leaving. Please find Jin and tell him to return at once. P 
Pinello? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same, though the answer is pretty clear. No good. What? I'm being good. Hmm. Is that right? So, then you wouldn't mind if I, say, tagged along, would you? Huh? Oh, don't worry. Miguel is busy with preparations for the fade up at the palace. Why, I'm free for the whole day. Well, let's get going. Hmm. <laughs> He's totally thrilled. Okay, um... Now I have to find... Jin. Oh well then. Nope, don't need to save right now. Pinello is not following me straight away. Hey Van, let me give you these before we go. There are all sorts of monsters out there, so you can never be too careful. Potion and Phoenix down, of course. So far you've been traveling by yourself, but now that I'm here, we can travel as a party! You can give commands to allies in your party, just like you've been doing for yourself up to now. I make my own decisions about what to do, too, but you can also give me specific commands. And I'll take care of those first, got it? And now change leaders and issue a party command. Oh, one more thing. If you don't want me to fight on my own, you can always turn my gambits off. With my gambits turned off, I won't do anything until you give the word. You should really think about using gambits for yourself, you know. You can make managing a battle a lot easier. Yes, gambits. The game can play literally itself. Well, you ready to go? Sure. Let me get my gambits on, though. Van, wasn't Jim supposed to be somewhere to the south of the village? If we work our way around, we should find him. Okay, let's go into the gambit system, which I pressed the wrong button for. And primer. Okay, whatever. Apparently there's... Equip. Remove, remove all, optimize. Um. Where was it? Battle speed. Oh, slow, fast. Okay, target lines on. Full control of it. Oh, I can actually change back to normal mode. How would that look? Oh, God. Yeah, that looks horrible. <laughs> okay, let's change back. Okay, um... Okay, where are the gambits now? How do I... Why can I... Okay, well, man. Is it in the inventory? Loots, abilities, weapons, armor, system. Where are the... Where are the gambits? Is the game screwing around with me right now? Oh, there we go. Oh. So, wait. There... I can activate gambits, but... How can I modify them? Because I don't want them to waste anything. I think we get the customizable gambits later in the game. I don't know what, fuck it. It's just... It's just tackle it. There you go. Not screwing around. Wait, south. I have to go Thaus, right? Yes, Thaus. Oh no. Fuck, ow! Why am I already fighting things like you? Can I? 
Yeah, okay. Well, that is good. I think I should heal him? Bow south. Yeah, I should definitely heal him. Oh god, there are so many of those really dangerous looking enemies. I don't want to fight you yet. Oh, I think I can fight you though. Oh well, I guess I fight you then. I will circle you. Ow. Wait, wasn't there... I'm pretty sure there was... Bye bye. No. Oh shit, she died. Oh no. The fuck? Oh, she's dead. God. Damn it! Well, I think I have to retreat for now. Oh my! Okay, she is back on top again. Okay, those monsters are dangerous, duly noted. 
and I still don't know where Jin is. Oh god, there's a cobra! Oh no! Oh no. Those are too many! We are out of here! Are you freaking serious? There are hyenas. Maybe we have to fight those? I think we have to fight those. Or maybe. again if I can't use an item on her in time she's dead oh god that was way too close um can you really not Oh, really? She's dead again? Nello, you're useless. I think... I think... I think I will resume the recording as soon as I will find Jin. Oh. I thought I found him, but it's just the intro to somewhere I should not be yet. Alright then. Wait, I think I found where I need to be. Which is good. Huh? What? No. There we go. Alright then. Yeah, my name's Jin. What's it to you? I see you wants me to come back to the village, huh? Hmm, it could be a problem. Let's see. Maybe my leg's better now. Nope, no good. Still hurts. I tripped running from some monsters. Guess I pulled something. I'm never gonna get any sunstone made like this. I just needed to make one more to be finished for today. I didn't want to head back short, so I thought I'd give my leg a, a rest and try again. Why are you out here looking for me anyhow? So you need a sunstone, huh? Well, if Masuya doesn't mind, I'll give you a shade stone. But I'm still not sure I can walk yet. You'll have to turn it into a sunstone, okay? Don't worry, I'll tell you how. You do know that we use dark crystals and shade stones to make sunstones, right? There's your shade stone. As for the dark crystals, you'll find them all over Giza Plains. This stone right here beside me is one of the smaller ones. The bigger crystals have something inside that soaks up sunlight and shines really bright. See that one over there? 
You take the shade stone I just gave you and bring it near one of those shining dark crystals, it will absorb the energy from it. There are four shining dark crystals in Giza right now. If you have trouble finding them, just stop and stop and scan the horizon. There's no way to tell how much energy you can draw from any one crystal without trying. You shouldn't need to use all four though. This gauge will show you how much energy the sage, stone, sage stones absorb. When it's full, you have yourself a sunstone. Once you've made the sunstone, bring it to me. I make sure it's up to snuff. I go ahead to mark the dark crystals on your map too. See you back here when you're done. Yeah, do all my dirty work. I don't have to do it. So, yeah, I first go to this stone, then I go to the other stones, and then I'm stoned. Oh, while I'm here, I can get everything of this. And here we go. Alright, that was good. I bet maybe this won't take so long after all. So this is what the kids on Giza Plains do to make their way. Maybe one of them will take you on as an apprentice. Yeah, yeah, let's just find the next crystal, okay? Definitely. Okay, I go back and go to that crystal now. I think the zodiac system was implemented later on for the sole reason that yeah like I think I already said that out loud and read it loud when I looked on the internet but the zodiac system was actually only done so that not every character can do everything so that you have specialized Whoa. oh fuck it attack you Don't attack her! I really want to... Yeah, that's how physics work. Work it. It's really sad that you can't body block or anything. One more. Okay, where's the next one? Um, there's one in the north. I mean, I think it was a big deal back then that monsters are in the open instead of the cut scenes. I mean, it is still, I think, a big deal of some sort at least. Yeah. Why are you always attacking Pinello? It would be so much easier. I wouldn't be such a jerk. And here we go. That's that. Nothing to it. Let's take it back to Jin and see what he says. I hope we did it right. Sure, let's go. And here we go. 
really don't even need to, okay? Hey, you've got a sandstone. Let's take a look. Hmm, seems okay to me. Not bad for city folk. So, here's what happened. Masuya is always warning us to stay away from the werewolves, right? Well, a bunch of us decided we'd have a little contest, see who's the bravest. It started out as a lark, but Todd said that none of us kids living on the plains should be scared of monsters. I guess I got carried away. Don't let any of the grown-ups know though, okay? You are an idiot, got it. Like any child almost. Anyway, my leg's feeling better now. Let's head back to the village. I'll race here, try and keep up. Oh god, what an awkward one. Jim made it back home safe and sound. He's a good boy, but how... But how his mind wanders. He never thinks of the worry it causes me. I'm sorry if he was any trouble. Please take these with my things. Yay! <laughs> he doesn't give a crap. Jin gave you sandstone, yes? I hope it may be of some help to you. Wait, and now we can go back to where we were. I just can't yet commit to anything. Um, yeah, we go back now, right? To Wabanastra. Oh well, taking out some of you. It doesn't even change to battle music. In Final Fantasy XIV, you actually changed battle music. Which is cool. It's even so nostalgic battle music Final Fantasy XIV uses. But actually, I'm curious now. Um, if PS4 version is actually released already. Alright. Actually, the, the day I decided to play this game is one day before the game is officially released in, um, yeah, in Europe and America, I think? For some reason, Japan gets it two times, two days after that. But yeah. I started to play the game one day before its actual release. Well, I mean, the PS2 version was around way longer from the Zodiac system. This is the, n the new HD remastered Zodiac system, which we should have gotten in the first place. But I think I would have disliked that even less as a kid. Because you can, you, you commit yourself to one class. I mean, look, look at it that way. If you would be a dumb kid 10 years ago, and you would have chosen uh, that every of your characters have the same class, you wouldn't have had a good time, because you need a balanced class, and I wouldn't ha have been able to do that properly. I would have been so dumb to do the stupidest shit, and would have probably made everyone a knight or something like that. Which is not a smart thing to do, but then again, I have a fetish for sword wielders, so yeah. It's not even... Whoa, no. Um, yeah, we have to go to low town again, I think. Maybe that's why I started over as well. I don't know. 
I mean, the only difference between the international system and... Something happening? No. Uh, the only difference between the new Zodiac Age on the PS4 and the PS2 version is that they bumped up the graphics to HD and Full HD, and that's the long and short of it. Which is not much, but yeah. I mean, it's basically the same thing, almost the same thing, they did to Final Fantasy X, with the addition of no encounter mode and something like that. Which was sadly not present. Hey, Vaughn? Hmm? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Magello. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, if something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. Yep. Pinello has the hots for Vaughn. Sorry, Pinello. Oh, you dick. <laughs> oh, my. Sorry, I didn't want it to speak in cutscenes anymore. God damn it. Okay, I, I'm not. I tried to do it now. Not again. Who oh, knows? So you've got a sunstone, have you? Hand it over, my boy. I use it to give the crescent stone back its magic, like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First, you go to Storehouse 5. You know the one. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Ban Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garamsite waterway. The waterway leads to a stair. The stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile, very important. Give to it the sun's power and it will light your path. Very well. Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeon. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> Lesson stone. All right then. I have the feeling I should give Vaughn the job of a hunter. Because he uses he looks like someone who uses light weapons. <sighs> Squads 326 are in place. They stand ready. So far the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. Okay, let's see. Licenses. I think. A well-trained and skilled warrior uses daggers and ninja swords. Can obtain first aid technique. Which can be useful. 
I know that we get a character named Balthia later on, and I'm really thinking I make him a samurai. Uh, initially, he was meant to be a machinist and uses weapons, but I want just to get him away from that, because I just don't like guns that much. Especially not on a fantasy game. So a black mage. Who could I turn into a black mage? It's actually hard to tell who I should turn into a black mage. On the other hand, Van could also make a fantastic monk with how he looks. I already know who I make a knight. This could be interesting. Uh, warrior spears are also not bad. I also think I know who I made my, make my white mage. But I haven't decided who to make my black mage yet. And as I said, I don't know how many characters we will get. And that's my main problem right now. I don't know how many characters we will actually get. Because, yeah, I never finished the game that far, so I don't know who are all the main characters. I can think of, off the top of my head, I can think of one, two, three, four. Five, six. I can think of six characters that will be in in my group at some point. I just don't want to spoil them all. I only the ones that I only spoiled one of them who is in the beginning. And if you never heard the na name Balthia, it will not say anything to you. So, but the other names could possibly spoil. So I won't tell it. So, um. Wait. Yeah, six. Six characters I'm sure of will be in my group. Because I play the mobile game Final Fantasy the Brave XPS. And because I saw a little bit of the game. What was that? Oh, hi. Hey, Van! I finally worked out how to get the door on the left side open. I hope there's something in there besides rats. Wanted you to go in first, so I waited for you to come before opening it. Oh, that's one of the reasons I waited. Thing is, I'm gonna need some special tools to open the door. I'm gonna need you to fetch them for me. I know, I know, not the most exciting thing to do, is it? <laughs> I'm just messing with you, I've got everything. I need ready to go. Hang on while I open it. Oh, wow, they told us there. Hmm, let's see, yeah, that should do it. Huh? Ah, <clears> whoop! <throat> It's open! Now we've got a whole nother place to explore. Oh, and I almost forgot. Take these with ya before you go. No telling what's down there might come in handy. Cool. That's what I needed, I think. Let's see how unprepared I can actually go in here. Without messing myself up tremendously. I hope there's a save point right in the beginning, and I don't need to go back. I have to rely on my safe states. Ah, there we go. No, I don't need to rely on my safe states. Now that's a proper use of a new file.
Look, that looks so great. Oh man. Oh. Was it confused? I think the wet was confused and hid itself. Wait, I thought your gambit is active. One of this works. Yeah, it actually works. One, you little critter. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh. Wait, that's all? That's why I went here? Come on. Whoa. It's really a shame that that they haven't released it on PC, otherwise I would have bought it for PC. I mean, I already have a copy. I showed it in the beginning. And I'm basically playing that, only with the added features that was stripped from the original version. But it's still my copy. It's still the PS2 version. Come on. Oh, come on, don't run away. You know what? Let's do this. Oh! Um. Wait. Why is that thing running away now? Sometimes running away and sometimes not. There, it attacked itself again. Oh, are you serious? Sure, where I should go. Why are you not attacking? Attack it! Are you fucking serious? Crying out loud. Well then. Yeah, you don't run away again. There we go. Oh, there. The wet was confused again. Yeah. Yep, there's an item. Definitely. Oh, come 
Come on. Can you... Can you not? Ugh, it wasn't even something good. Oh! Why do I have to attack every time? Oh man, I want the gambits. I really want the gambits now. I, we I know I made fun of them, but I want the gambits. That's why I wash it so hard. I really, really want those gambits. The gambits are actually a good thing, in this environment at least. so many rats. I mean, it's a trope in RPGs. The first enemies you ever encounter are rats. Uh, was that message directed to me, Pasha? What do you mean by you work until 3.30? Oh. They look really great though. Look at them. Whoa! There we go. Okay, give me an item potion, there we go. Come on. Always have to attack manually. There we go. Really hit a lot. There you go. You want to get the gambit system. Javelin. Oh, a spear. Okay. Quite sure where I need to go. Oh. Okay, there seems to be nothing here then. Yeah, there's definitely nothing here. The palace should be right up these stairs. Climb the stairs. Hmm. Won't be easy getting out. I'm ready for this. It's now or never. Point of no return.
why a palace of rubber nest? You will not be able to leave this area easily. You may wish to save your game to a new file. This is something I really can appreciate. When a game wants me, you shouldn't save here if if you're not sure that you're ready. Oh, of course. There's a map just conveniently being here. Oh, we have to do a mini game, don't we? Well, there are a lot of items just lying around here. Elixir. Oh. One of those items you never use. Ever. For some reason. If you gathered up all of the occasionals, good. You'll be on cleanup duty when the feed's over. Wait here until we're ready for you. No one goes to the upper floor until we give the order. Step out of line and you will be punished. Um. Wait here until I have further directions for you. Oh, you're in the palace. What's he doing? Trying to go upstairs? Trying to go upstairs, ain't you? I know. You're hungry. I don't blame you. An empty stomach will make me want to crash the feed, too. No, no. No use trying to hide it. Look here. I help you out. Okay, so press the square to call the guard. I'll handle him when he comes, and you make for the stairs. Ah, get too close, and he is liable to notice you. Let's give a try. Hey, Buckethead! Now's your chance. Get going. Yep. The mini game of who's the big head? What was it old Dallin said? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. There was more. Oh yeah. Once in the palace you find the signet tile. Give it to it the sun powers and it will light your path. So I've got a signet to find. Yeah, job. Sure. I can't squeeze through that. Would be too easy, wouldn't it? Over here. I think I have to lure them there. Buckethead. Oh, signal. Oh. No, that's not it. I am, no, it's not a lion, it's a dragon, isn't it? Oh. 
Over here! Hello? Huh? Hey, Buckethead! Oh. Yeah, he's totally mesmerized by the architecture. Something not quite right about this wall. You can feel a faint to have coming from the other side. Okay, but I still haven't found the signet I want. Um, it's weird. Yeah, whatever. Just try it. The light of the sun flows into the signet. The hidden ray is lit. Totally lit. Wait, but that's weird. So, what? Is that the right thing to do? What would have happened if I would have used the wrong one? I think it just wouldn't have worked, would it? I have no idea. Right, one of them is lit now. Wait, it's not here? And then Over here! Yeah. What kind of signal would have been here? And because of the floor, well, can't do anything about it anymore. Wait, what? I'm confused now. Where was I supposed to go? Ah, fuck. Crying out loud. Maybe I need... Hello? Maybe I need them to be here? I think it just, I assume it just wouldn't have worked then. Hmm. One of those must be lit. Why is none of those? None of them are lit. Oh, I had to go that close. Well, that takes care of the secret passage. Now where's this treasure? Hey, watch it! Guess it's not leaving me much choice. Definitely not. Well, there is only the wall to examine. Wait, what? 
Oh. Hehe, <laughs> mechanical click from behind. Now it should open. Play the leading man. Who else? Fran, the Magicide. Now then, I'll take that. No, you won't. I found it. It's mine. And then when I take it from you, it'll be mine. Exit stage right. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. By the way, that was the initial oh, that was the initial thought out protagonist of the game. But they thought they he was not relatable enough, so they created Vaughn. <laughs> Which is kinda sad. Let me guess, you don't want to go there, right? Can't go there because it's suddenly blocked off. What about this way? Between the guards and whoever those two were, it's not safe that way. Not turning back now. Apparently, those are rumors I heard somewhere. I don't know if they are true. I could just talk bullshit the whole time. That's just what I read on the internet. And you know the internet is never lying, isn't it? <laughs> Freeze, eh? That's quite an entrance. Impeccable timing. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were waiting all along. Stop running! End of the line. You have something that belongs to me. Damn! All this way! Fran, let's move! <sighs> Off with you! Time for this. Uh, that's the 
What happened? A hover didn't just drop, it disappeared. Ah, oh, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire, and I'd rather not get burned. We'll go the old-fashioned way. Through the sewers. Not many Viera where you come from, thief. It's Vaughn. Sorry. Well... Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's Balthier. Listen, thief, Vaughn. If you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, Fran, and you, we're working together now. Understood? Don't even think you're getting this. The thought never crossed my mind. Wow, straight up lying. It's the only reason they took you with them. Alright then. Hello and welcome. Let's see. I bet they don't have any license plates yet as well. Yep, definitely not yet. And yeah, this is the one guy I was talking about, and I repeat myself again, yeah. This is the so-called inbound. And now we will get teach the gambit system, finally. Oh, I will use this save again, because there was already a point of no return. Uh, and I think I will leave the stream for now as well. Because there's something I wanted to do. I never wanted a little bit of help and I grant her that now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it so far and I will hopefully see you when I continue this. So stay tuned for more.